Hi all. Today we are going to study the third chapter of your civics textbook named How the State Government Works. The intention of this video is not to give you each and every points that is scribbled down in your textbook. Rather, we are looking into the core ideas that is dealt in the textbook. So, before watching this video, go through your textbook very well. At the time when we people are speaking here about this chapter, a road construction is going on in zero and many other places in Arunachal Pradesh. Who is doing that construction? As you people all are students and children, you will be loving to get many things. So, you will be loving to uh, buy new football, buy new dresses, eat new things and you will be even be laughing to get new playstations, mobile phones and so on and so on. So your father or mother or both who will be working uh, will be giving you all these things. But who is the one, who are the ones who have decided to give them their jobs? who have given them their jobs and who is giving them their salary. Uh, at this time of COVID-19, a new hospital is built in Hapoli. Who have built that one? And there are many schools, many roads, many constructions. Everything that goes and happens around us is guided by someone. So even at this time, we people are doing an online class because we are advised by someone to stay back in our home for our own betterment and also have made a lockdown in the whole state by realizing all these things because everything in our life is not decided by ourselves. There is an authority who decides that everything that happens around us and every stage, whether it be Arunachal Pradesh, whether it be Nagaland, whether it be Kerala, whether it be Delhi, if any states have such an authority and that authority who rules us, who makes things around us is known as a government. If you look at this image, you can see our chief minister whose name, his name is Pema Gandhu. He is part of a political party known as Bharatiya Janata Party or BJP. So he is the one who decides what all things must happen around us. So now we are going to study about a different thing called as election. Have you ever heard about this thing called as election? Think that you people are destined to select a school leader from 10 standard. Not anyone from the teachers or principal or vice principal is going to select the school leader, but you people are going to select him, select him or her. So for that purpose, everyone from LKG to 10th standard is grouped into two, boys and girls. Uh, who wins in that election will be the school leader. Okay, so. Uh, every class a representative from boys and a representative from girl will be chosen and every other in that classroom will be made to cast a vote or give a vote to those people. The, if the boys wins in more class, they will be the representative from the 10th standard will be elected as the school leader and vice versa will be done from girls also. If the girls win in more classes, then the girl who is elected from the class 10 will be chosen as the school leader. This same process is occurring in every stage. Okay, and if a classroom is there, when it comes to a stage, there will be constituencies. When it comes to Arunachal Pradesh, there are 60 constituencies. 
and the elected persons from every constituencies are called as MLAs and there will be political parties who nominates for them. Every person in that constituency will vote for the candidate he loves to see as his or her MLA compete in that election and everyone in that area constituency can also be called as an area. So everyone can cast their vote or give their vote. Cast their vote is the exact word, okay? And if a person gets 50 percentage, more than 50 percentage vote from that constituency, he will win, he or she will win, and they will be considered as the MLA. And if a party gets, uh, when it comes to Arunachal Pradesh, we already said that there are 60 constituencies. In the 60 constituencies, if a party gets more than 30 plus uh, seats, then their party can, re can rule the state. And the, the last year, the BJP led by Pema Gandhu have won the election and he, have become the, uh, he has become the chief minister of our state. The next topic is about opposition party or opposition leader. Okay. So, if a party, so the BJP party have won the election last year in Arunachal Pradesh and the opposition party have got uh, less than that 50 percentage of votes, 50 percentage of seats and they, have, they are the opposing party in our state. Okay. The political party, the opposition leader will be an MLA too and he will question every deed done by the government as a representative of that people. So even, even though that party have lost, they also have a significant or important role in the governance of our state, every state. Okay. So that opposition leader will question that every deed, uh, suppose uh, the government is trying to make a new role and the opposition leader have any objections regarding that, he can question them. Okay, that's the power of democracy. And he will be questioning the ruling party as a representative of the people that have given him the vote. Till now, we have said about election, political parties, uh, chief minister, MLA, and now we are going to speak about ministers okay so we people sitting in uh, zero uh, the representative or mla of our constituency named zero happily is tagetaki our mla is tagetaki and he was an engineer by profession and he is now uh, a part of the ministry the pema gandu government lead ministry he is a part of that. He is the Minister of Agriculture, he is the Minister of Horticulture, he is the Minister of Animal Husbandry, uh, Dairy Development and Fisheries. If we people have any problem with all these things, fisheries, animal husbandry, agriculture, any new innovative things that occurs in our state regarding all these things, and a difference between an MLA and minister is a minister is more powerful. MLA can uh, give help to those people in his constituency alone. But when it comes to a minister, minister will be given certain positions of by the ruling government. Uh, by the so uh, we have already said that Tage Taki, our MLA, is a cabinet minister. So, Pema Gandu is the head of the state and he is the chief minister and Tage Taki is the minister of all these things. Okay, but if we have any problem related with this, any new innovative things occurs regarding this, a new agriculture uh, revolution happens, any horticulture things happens, new types of animal husbandry is innovative is happen here and for dairy development, new Farms are made here. 
everything will be done by the guidance of the minister Tagetaki. MLA will just be a representative of that constituency and he will be doing all the needy for people in his place. But minister will be the one who decides what all things to happen or implement. Okay, so uh, these ministers are a bit more powerful than that of the MLAs. In this image, you people will be able to see the map of our state, Arunachal Pradesh, noting the 60 constituencies. From these 60 constituencies, there will be 60 MLAs also. And the most proficient one, ones will be elected as the ministers by the chief minister. Okay. This 17, the arrow mark denoting this 17, is the constituency denoting our constituency named uh, Sira Hapoli. This is the legislative assembly of our state. This building is the legislative assembly of Arunachal Pradesh state. And this is the inner portion. This image denotes the inner portion of our legislative assembly. By having a look at these two images, you might be wondering why there is a, such a building. So, legislative assembly is a big office where all the MLAs including ministers and come together guided by a person known as speaker and discuss about innovative things to be employed. So, uh, this legislative assembly is a big building. In this uh, building, the every MLA, 60 MLAs, leaded by the, whether it be opposition party or the ruling party, they will be uh, sitting there and they will be guided by a person known as a speaker and he will be the most powerful one in that assembly. So, in that assembly, the ruling party will be uh, taking new decisions about new innovative things to be happen. Suppose a road is constructing in our, obviously a road is constructing in our state and that road uh, before construction, the, power, the legislative assembly will give, uh, will go for a meeting between every MLAs and the chief minister, uh, especially the minister who is destined with the uh, work of road development will be speaking about the benefits of this road that is coming there. Okay. And if the opposition party sees any witnesses, any sort of corruption or any other problems that uh, occurs in while doing the if if the MLAs and also the opposition leader from the opposing party uh, feels like there is any corruption going on, if there is any inadequate amount of help is given to any people and if the road work that is going on is not in a good manner or the planned things that is given there, that is proposed there by the uh, MLAs, but pardon, by the ministers is not up to the level helping the people in our state, then, then there will be a debate upon all these topics, whether there is a need for a road, whether we need a hospital, whether we need a school and how to implement these things, there will be a debate between those two parties by every person. Uh, in our textbook itself, we, the two children is bothered about, in our textbook itself, we can witness that two children are bothered about death of several people in their state because of diarrhea. So they are going to watch the legislative assembly there and in the textbook itself, there you can see in page number 34 and 35, MLAs from different parties are arguing each other uh, about the uh, insufficient works that are done by the government and the ruling party is saying that we have given everything they want. So, in that way, a decision will be made between these parties. Okay, majority places in our state 
is partially or fully uh, rural areas or wildlife densely uh, forested wildlife itself okay so the need of pure water is a mandatory thing for survey and the water connections water supply given to us every day and also the garbage picking by the people and everything all these things that happens around us the electricity that is given to you people uh, and all these things is done by government and the decisions will be taken in the legislative assembly so after the meeting the minister calls for a press conference where he will be explaining about what all decisions are made inside and the media will show it to us so after the meeting every person the uh, the millions of people in our state will not be able to get into the legislative assembly when the a debate is going on so our basic right is to know what what all things are occurring in our state so for that purpose after the debate after the meeting in legislative assembly the minister and also the op opposing party leader will call for a press conference press conference in that process the media persons will be coming and they will be covering what all things they will be shooting writing down and for this process it is called as covering for and after covering they will give us to tvs news medias youtube and all these things never ever think that only the ruling party is making decisions in our state not only the ruling party but also the opposition party have a key role in the governance of a state any problems occurs in our state suppose if we people are having uh, poverty here if you are not having good roads here no good schools are available here good electricity is not there water facility is not given if we people are witnessing all these problems opposition party can question the government by saying that you people are not working well and you have to work well if both parties ruling and opposition parties are not working well and they are not working for the betterment of the society and the people we the people of our nation can come together group together and speak against and speak for speak against the government and also we can speak for what all things we need in our society because our nation as a democratic republic nation delivers ourselves that freedom to opine about anything okay now we are going to conclude our video i believe that you people have uh, digested everything that i have said here and uh, go through the chapter really well and if you people have any doubts any queries related with the chapter feel free to ask any time okay and uh, notes will be given in this chapter thank you